What's up guys, Contest VSB here, Brandon here, and today I'm going to teach you how to play drums. But first, we're going to learn the basics and some easy beats to get you started, since you guys are probably beginners. Uh, if you want to see my next video, it's going to be intermediate stuff, or uh, basics and uh, easy beats uh, continued. So until now, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to put you through training that will help you become a better drummer for the basics and beginners. Step one of being a good drummer is to see which drumsticks you would need. Now there is stuff on eBay and there is stuff on Amazon. It just depends if you're going to go to a music shop or whatever. It's up to you. But I go on Musician's Friend and I get nylon drumsticks or just regular professional drumsticks. As you can see they're a little different. This is nylon and this is uh, professional. Uh, nylon are for practicing and they're more durable and they're you know smaller uh, depends on the size and weight and the professional are just regular wood as you can see there's no white tip and these are for you know shows and uh, more accuracy the bigger they are the better accuracy you're gonna have but the smaller they are the more easier to do uh, you know tricks and uh, the speedier you're gonna be if speedier is a word. So it just depends on which uh, drumstick you want. I prefer the nylon because they're actually a little bit better and they last longer probably about if you play it nonstop for about two months and these are for shows only like talent shows or uh, playing with your band or whatever practicing with your band. If you're on your own these are good. If you're with a band these. Pretty much that's what drumsticks you need. Alright guys step two is knowing what drums you're playing. I mean, you guys are playing drums, you're playing beats and all that, and you're uh, impressing the ladies, I know I am, but you need to know what the heck you're hitting. So, we are gonna, I'm gonna actually tell you which ones, you know, what their names are. So right here is the hi-hat, and there's the kick pedal down there. Right here is the snare, and the bongo, whichever one. Alright, right here is a crash cymbal. Right here is another crash cymbal. You can have one on the right and left. More variety. Here is the tom tom, the left tom, and the right tom. Here is the floor tom, and here is the ride, which is kind of like the hi hat, but it has a brighter sound. And down here, you can see the pedal for the single bass, which is the big one right here. Is the bass. And right is the second pedal, as in the double bass. And over here is your throne. It's not a chair, people. It is a throne, like you're a king. So, that's pretty much what you need to know about your drum set. Now let's get started. Step three is to make sure everything is tightened to your extent. Now, here's the things that you need to tighten, the little screws right here. And what you need is what came with your drum set, I am pretty sure, let me set that down a little bit, is what you call a drum key. Now everyone needs to know this because you're definitely going to need to tighten everything. So all you do is just go up to a screw, put it in, tighten it, or loosen it. Well, you need to make sure it has a dark sound. that fits your liking and make sure your heads are okay and not damaged and you don't want them to break during like you know the show and you need to make sure that these are tightened as you can see okay and you need to make sure the stands are well to make sure that you can you know hit them so since I took the pleasure of getting everything set up already you just need to take a moment and make sure everything is tightened. Alright guys, we are back and now we're actually going to play the drum. So make sure you have your nylon drumsticks or your professional drumsticks, whatever one to your liking, and make sure that they fit in your hand. The first thing you got to do is make sure that you're sitting on the throne correctly and make sure you're not strubbing down like this. You actually got to be straight up. You actually got to be, you know, fit like a king apparently. So now the second part is you got to make sure that you're holding the drumstick correctly. You don't want to hold it like this that they're going everywhere. You got to actually 
grab hold of him like this and make sure your thumb is actually right there okay as you can see Eric's gonna get close up and make sure you're not holding them like this so that you can't go anywhere you gotta let them loose a little bit but make sure you have a good grip on it so that you can actually do this and they actually glide it off your fingers like that but make sure you have a good grip on it so you don't want to you know throw them off stage on accident alright the second part is you're gonna do we're actually gonna do a beat so after we've done with the basics we did every single thing you need to know about the drum set we're actually gonna play a beat now I'm gonna teach you the 4, the 8, and the 16 beat. The first one's a 4 beat. So what you're going to think in your mind is 1, 2, 3, 4. You can go as fast as you can, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, or you can go 1, 2, 3. Rhythm is all about the drums. you got to make sure of that. You can be unstoppable and you can hit everything and sound good, but without rhythm, you sound terrible. you got to make sure of that. A lot of people don't care about rhythm and timing, but that's the exact thing you need to worry about. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to teach you a four beat. A four beat is goes as followed. What I did there was all you do is think in your mind and I'm going to think out loud and play this little bright. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now remember, the bass, which is your foot and kick pedal, actually hits on one and three as followed one two three four and your snare hits every two and four one two three four so now since you got the four beat down we're gonna play an eight beat one two three four one two three four if you're having trouble with these just take it down low and go as slow as possible And then speed up. The speed, yeah, a lot of people want to speed up and crap. You don't want to do that. You want to start slow and then speed up. That's what really gets you going. So now what we're going to do now is we're going to do a 16 beat. That's a 16 beat. 16s are usually the hardest one out of them. Now, if you're going to do, like, if you're going to learn a song or something and it's an 8 beat, start with a 4 beat. It's actually a lot easier than an 8. And then get into the 8. So now, we're going to give you your first lesson. I want you to do a regular 4 beat. And a regular 8 beat. Make sure you do it correctly before we move on. So pause the video now and play it. Good. Alright guys, Catastrophe VSB is back and apparently you guys are back. You guys paused the video and tried it, hopefully. And if you guys still don't get it, watch this video again.